plans to veto a package of bills that the legislature will send him this week that would reduce the budget shortfall by three billion. In national news, engineers are still examining the rubble of the San Antonio sports arena that collapsed yesterday during the first quarter of the season's final Stallions game. Initial reports indicate that 39 people died and over 100 were injured when the upper loge deck gave way. Among the fatalities, a young girl who was crushed to death but who remains unidentified. Local authorities are searching for a parent or guardian, but so far no one has come forward to claim the child. In other national news, proposed as a draft that would greatly increase logging in the forest. Yeah, what time does your next flight leave for San Antonio? How are you? I thought you weren't coming until tomorrow. I need to borrow $250. Can I ask what for? Uh, I may have seen something. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. I need to check it out. Paul. I'll pay you back. That's not what I'm worried about. Look, Alva just went out for some coffee. Why don't you wait and then... I'll fill you in when I get back. Thanks. I'm sorry. to see if anybody has come to claim the body of the little girl. I, I'm sorry. The 72 hours passed. The body's been cremated. saw this little girl on the bus before it exploded and then and when I was in the hospital I saw her on TV in front of the stadium before it collapsed and twice you've seen her dead body first here in Boston and then and the next day in San Antonio Paul she died right in front of you the explosion knocked you out this could be some sort of post-traumatic stress I think she needs my help so much for the voice of reason uh, if she's appearing to you before these tragedies, she may be some sort of harbinger spirit. Wait, assuming that you're actually seeing all of this, are you saying that she's trying to warn him of these disasters? Why not just say, hey, Paul, stop the bus, stop the... Little Miss Lost. Hartford Morgue number 8959. Here. She was killed in a circus fire. July 6, 1944, Hartford, Connecticut. Yeah, but who is she? Well, no one knows. Her body was never claimed. What happened? It was one month after D-Day. Uh, 8,000 people, most of them women and children, gathered for the matinee. Shortly after it started, fire broke out. Thousands of panic-stricken people stampeding the exits, trying to escape the flames that roared across the tent top, which had been waterproofed with an unfortunate mixture of paraffin wax and gasoline. Most of the victims were trampled to death long before the flames ever reached them. She's dying over and over again. Yes, and she has been for the past 59 years. Her body has mysteriously shown up at the site 
of various tragedies all around the world. Here we are, 1972. Bihar, India. A commuter train plunges off a bridge into the Bagmati River. 180 dead, one body unclaimed. Baku, Azerbaijan, 1981. A subway train catches on fire while still in the tunnel. 300 dead, one body unclaimed. Last reported sighting in the U.S. A school shooting in Pittsburgh, March of last year. In every case, it's the same little girl. Mm -hmm. She's something of an urban legend. The French call her La Petite Orpheline. In Ethiopia, she's known as Yete Fajlej. She's been seen in over 80 countries in the last 59 years, but no one has ever had actual contact with her before a tragedy. Until now. What does that mean? It could mean that she's coming into our world more strongly, more powerfully than before, and if that's true, then it means that the veil is getting thinner. This is a sign. Paul, I need you to think back to when you saw that girl. You okay? Yeah. How did she look? Dead. What? What? Kiel. This girl is not a harbinger spirit at all. She's not warning me of these tragedies? No. She's causing them. Why, why would the ghost of a little girl be killing people? She's probably not even aware that she is. This is just some sort of byproduct of her materializations. Any situation has the potential for tragedy. Every time a plane takes off, every time you get in a car. Wherever this little girl appears, she tips the scales. Her presence turns the potential into the actual. But how? Because her presence is the presence of death. She knows you can see her, Paul. She's got your attention. And my guess is she will keep appearing until she gets what she wants, whatever that may be. And every time she does, people will die. Then we better figure out what she wants. And fast. We need to go to where all this started. Hartford, Connecticut. May I suggest we leave immediately? looking for what same thing I am I, I was on the number nine bus that morning because I was coming from City Hall I was I've been trying to find my father and this little girl maybe maybe that's why she's reaching out to me she's never been claimed by her parents and maybe if we find them she'll stop Thank you. You've been most helpful. There's a delightful young lady at the Hartford Herald who's going to provide us with two lists. One is those persons uh, who died in the first circus fire. The other list is uh, those who survived to be questioned. Amazing what a little accent can get out of a woman. Yes, it is. Uh, she also gave me the address of a man named Delwyn Earl, who is one of the original reporters to cover the fire. Uh, he still freelances for the paper every now and again. What I suggest is you go and interview him, and I will go and get a list. Thank you for your time, Mr. Earl. Oh, name's Delwyn. Uh, come on in. Find a seat. Uh, you two married? No. I wouldn't let that one get away. <laughs> you want to hear about that fire, don't you? Uh, yes, sir, if you don't mind. I do mind. Who wants a drink? Um, it's a little early. Not if you want to hear about the fire. You guys don't know it, but the world was a different place then. This was before lighted exit signs, and fire marshal capacity codes. Everybody smoked, nobody gave a damn. 8,000 people and then some were in that tent. When it went up, 
You've never seen such fear. 168 people dead in six minutes. 49 of them kids. The animals panicked. Some were burned alive in their cages. Have you ever heard a horse scream? I was overseas during World War II. I saw a lot of things I wish I hadn't. But this was as bad as any of it. Maybe worse. The, uh, little girl has never been claimed. 8959. We're trying to find out who her parents were. I don't know the father, but the mother was Lillian Smith. Lillian Smith. She was from a rich 